Hi. Now, in the previous parts of this question, we were told that the manufacturer produced these pain relieving tablets in the form of this solid cylinder and it had a volume of 60 millimeter cubes. And we had to show that the surface area A for each tablet was given by this formula here. Now, the manufacturer needs to minimize the surface area A of a tablet. And we've got to use calculus to find the value of x for which a is a minimum. So if you haven't uh, tried this already you might like to just pause the video, give it a go, come back when ready and I'll run through the solution. Okay welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well this is a typical question on max and minimums. Okay which involves calculus, differentiation. If you're not familiar with this, you can always check this out on my website, examsolutions.net. Plenty of tutorials on there for this. Okay, so in this example, we've got to prepare this for differentiation. Let's just number this equation up here because we're going to need to refer to it, okay, quite a few times. So if we're gonna differentiate it, this term here isn't in the right form. We need to think of this as 120 times 1 over x, which can be written, the 1 over x can be written as x to the power minus 1. So we end up with 120 times x to the power minus 1. So let's just write that down here, that a okay, equals 2 pi x squared plus 120 multiplied by x to the power minus 1. Now we need to differentiate this in the usual way and that is that for terms like this all we do is multiply the power with the value in the front and subtract 1 from the power. So we've got 2 times 2 pi which is 4 pi. Reduce the power by 1 so that's x to the power 1 or just leave it as x. Don't rush in and write a plus here because what we've got here is minus 1 times plus 120 which is going to be minus 120. Reduce the power by 1 and that becomes x to the power minus 2. Now whenever I get negative powers I always change these back to positive powers. I always think that's a good idea. So at this point I'm going to say that therefore dA by dx is going to equal 4 pi x and then for this this is 120 times 1 over x squared. Well 120 times 1 over x squared is going to give me minus 120 then over x squared. Now we're looking for where a is a minimum and when a is a minimum we expect the graph if we were to draw a graph of a plotted against x to bottom out okay it, and when it bottoms out the gradient will be zero so at a minimum let's just put here at a min okay da by dx must equal zero that's the gradient will be zero so we can work with this equation here so we would therefore have four pi x minus 120 over x squared would equal 0. Now to solve something like this what I'd want to do is multiply through by x squared to each of the three terms and if we do that we get 4 pi x times x squared it's going to give me 4 pi x cubed if I multiply this term by x squared, it would just leave me with the minus 120. And 0 times x squared, well, that's still going to be 0. Now if we add 120 to both sides, we therefore have 4 pi x cubed equals 120. And then I could divide both sides by 4 pi to give me x cubed x cubed equals 120 then over 4 pi and then to get x therefore x would equal the cube root of 120 over 4 pi or you could 
reduce this down you could cancel the 4 into the 120 that goes 30 times and go for the cube root of 30 over pi you could leave it like that or you could work this out as a decimal if you do you're going to get 2.1215 and so on and if you go for the decimal version then I would suggest you round it to a suitable degree of accuracy which will say is three significant figures that would be 2.12 to 3SF okay so I'm sure any of these answers would be suitable